Hey guys, Mr. Stark here again. Uh, I want to go over a video between a couple of different style panels. Maybe one is your kind of choice that you'd like to use and I'm just showing you something else that's kind of cool about these Square D uh, residential panels. So let's first take a look at your normal conventional panel. So right here we're looking at a Square D panel. It's got the line shields, which is kind of a nice little thing to have, you know. Uh, this is just a mock-up panel of what a neat panel should look like. So if you take a look, wires are all nice and straight, nice and tight in, uh, very, very nice. If you look up in the top here and the, you know, that free gutter space, we're using Romex connectors and non-metallic buttons to come into the top of the panel. So you might be used to doing this quite a bit yourself. Sometimes you run out of space and you're trying to double up cables into a connector and maybe the inspector doesn't like that too much. But really there's only so much you can do as far as uh, the, the, the cleanliness in the top of the gutter space. Uh, we've been using these panels with knockouts for years and obviously if you take a look in this panel you can certainly come into the bottom of the panel. There's knockouts in the bottom as well as the sides. Me personally I prefer just doing just the top if it's possible. Now after this panel, you know Square D, not you know it's quite a while ago they came up with this style so it's been around for a while and basically what this is is there's this insert and you strip the cables, you slide them in, no, not, no uh, Romex connectors needed, no lock nuts. Sometimes people mess around with lock nuts and they kind of fumble around with them trying to get the lock nut on. And if it's done right, and this is just a mock-up so that you can kind of see how it really should look if you did it, uh, a, a real electrician, a real mechanic would try to make this nice and neat, line up all the sheets as best as he can, and try to get all your circuits into the top and then what's cool about this too is it's got this nice little cover that would then get snapped on the front of this thing just like this it would snap on and keep the cables in there so they don't slide out when you're opening the panel cover if in fact you ever had to open it when the panel's done they are pretty stiff in here you'll notice it's got like this little uh, bend that keeps them nice and gripped in there and they're also sized so you know if you take a look at the bottom of this one you can see we've got some bigger knockouts that you would knock out with maybe your needle nose pliers. You just twist them out for some of your bigger cables. And then you can see some of your smaller cables like your 14.2s and your 14.3s. So it does allow flexibility for the bigger cables as well. Uh, pretty cool and I uh, thought you might like to see this because we are covering residential wiring in the classroom. And uh, you may bump into a panel like this. and. You know, you got to come up with your own style when you're wiring your panel and, you know, neat and workmanlike manner is always pressed in the code book. So if it's not done at least as neat or equal to as this, you're probably not understanding what the code book wants you to do. So uh, enjoy. See you at the next video.